Hi, this is Anthony, Managing Member of Exceptional Accounting, and today we're going to do a basic tutorial and introduction to the reporting functions built into QuickBooks. Now, as you're entering data into QuickBooks, or if your accountant is entering information into QuickBooks, you may want to uh, get a copy of a QuickBooks file, or you may have access already through a server that the accountant is using, and you'll want to explore QuickBooks and see some of the reports that QuickBooks offers and explore the the financial data of your company. You can do that most easily through here on the report center. This pulls up and on the left you see the different categories of different types of reports that you can pull up and in here you can see some detail of specific types of reports for that uh, under that code category. So uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to learn how to do some basic exploring um, and once you know the basics you can go and explore and check out different types of reports so most uh, the most basic reports are here on the company financial which includes the profit and loss standard which is basically a a revenues less expenses equals profit type of report which shows uh, the expenses and income of your company now you notice here we have the profit and loss standard and detail we're going to go through that and then there's a bunch of different other options where you can gather other types of information but basically um, what you will do is you select the report you'd like then select the date parameter whether it's this month or um, you know yesterday or you can select custom and select your own date range but for this purpose let's just do this physical year um, this will give you a preview of the report right here so if you don't want to have to go into it, you know, you can kind of see what it's going to look like. Um, and all you have to do is just press that, display report, and that will bring up the report for you. Notice it says this physical year, which is what I selected. It's got the date parameters based on your physical year. And this is the report. Starts out with the ex income, different income accounts that you've set up, and goes into cost of goods sold, your gross profit, lists out all the expense categories, and comes down to the net income which is the big number down there now if you're curious about any one of these numbers let's say right here you're you see all these landscaping services and design and you're curious uh, what makes up this thirteen thousand five hundred and ten dollars you can just double click on the number and by doing that we'll bring up the um, the uh, the detail of that amount in the date parameter that you specify so that's important. Um, sometimes when people go in and they look into the detail, they won't see anything. So they'll see a balance of, let's say, $1,000, and then they go into the detail, and the detail will show a balance of zero. And they'll ask, well, why? Why could it? Why is it showing zero when I know there's a balance of 1000 Well, usually that has to do something with the date parameters. If the transactions that make part of the, um, the detail transactions are not included in the date parameter, then you know you won't see them. Um, simple thing you can do is just press A when this is highlighted when you first get into the report or just hit the drop down and come up to the top and s hit all and that will bring up all the reports all of the transactions in this account for all the time so you'll see for all time excuse me um, and you'll see all the reports in here so um, and then you can also go to the next level so let's say you're curious about this transaction this individual transaction you can just double click on that and it will actually bring up that transaction that you were looking at so and that's very um, uh, that's very useful if you're just curious uh, about what actually makes up the the higher level balances of your financial reports and again you can just X out and go back and if you want to look at another report you just find the balance open it up and you can see the detail right there and so that's the uh, the basic way you navigate these reports now if you want to modify these reports there's a bunch of different options so for example here you can click modify report and it'll bring up some um, different options that you can go through so let's say uh, we want to do it on a cash basis and we want to have another column for the previous period and we want to look at um, the percentage change so we can compare that and then there's a bunch of other options you can look at the previous year year-to-date etc um, there's also filters here 
So for example, if you wanted to filter out certain transactions by, oh, there's, there's multiple parameters, but um, by name, by a certain account type, by a customer type, by a name, a city, I mean, you can see all of these options. There's, it's a very powerful tool if you're looking for a specific piece of financial information. You can use the filter to, to weed through all the information and get just the pieces of information that you need. And then, of course, there's some editing and in the way the financials are presented if you'd like to do that. But uh, most, uh, you know, I think you'll find most helpful the display because you get these extra tools here to kind of compare with previous periods. And then the filters if you're trying to extract additional information for certain scenarios. So for right now, we've just done, well, I haven't messed with the filters, but uh, the displays, we've put the previous period and we want to put the percent change. Press OK. And as you can see here, we have the current year, physical year, and we also have the previous physical year. And then we have a percentage change in this column. So we'll just kind of give us an idea of, compared to last year, how we're doing. So um, as you can see, uh, this is just, I mean, there is a lot of information you can gather. As long as the information in your QuickBooks is correct, that's a whole different matter. But assuming that it's all correct, this is just you know, an example of some of the information and tools you can mess around with to kind of see how your company is doing. Um, I have this open window t tab over here, which makes tabbing back and forth between different windows very helpful. Uh, to, do, to get that open, all you do is just do view and click open window list. Make sure that that's clicked, and that allows you to um, go back and forth if you'd like. So in this case, we'll just close it. Uh, so we looked at the profit and loss standard. Um, the profit and loss detail or detail reports are basically the same. Uh, it's the same report, except it contains all of the detail transactions in there. So for example, uh, whereas on the profit and loss standard, it had landscaping services and an overall income number of this, you actually get to see all the detail. Um, this report basically just takes the detail and the standard report and merges them together so you can see everything. And, uh, you know, just depending on what kind of information you're looking for, there's multiple different reports that you can pull up and compare with others. And, uh, you know, it just kind of depends on what you're looking for. But the overall financial picture of your company in terms of profit, which most uh, people are very interested in, can be derived from the profit and loss standard and profit and loss detail reports. But you also have other reports here that you can look at, you know, income by customer. If you're curious uh, what, what are your most profitable customers in a certain period, you can pull up reports here that will tell you how much you've billed them, etc. They've even got some, uh, some good looking graphs, income expense with a graph that will show you in a graphical format your income and graph for a certain type of date and give you some expense summaries so that's always pretty cool so uh, like I said there's a ton of different reports here that you can go into and see and it all depends on how your QuickBooks is set up so uh, what that means is like for example you'll notice that there's a whole section here on inventory well, if your business uh, doesn't deal with inventory, or let's say it does, but you don't activate and utilize and enter incorrectly the inventory um, your company is using, then these reports, while they're here for this sample file, they'll show nothing for your company file unless they're entered incorrectly. So the information you can extract from QuickBooks is, is only as good as the quality of information you put into QuickBooks. And so while all these reports are cool it's it's uh, and useful it's important that while you're um, you know as you prepare your QuickBooks and you enter in transactions that you enter in them correctly and you enter them in a way that allows you to get the information you need so uh, that's just the basic introduction to reports like I said there's tons of different types of reports that you can that you can uh, explore and look into. It's not the the purpose of this um, of this tutorial to go through every single one of them, but I will go through one additional one because, or two additional ones, just real quick, because I feel that they are very important. Uh, for example, if you are invoicing your customers, then you'll see here there's a, a a report called the AR Aging Summary and the AR Aging Detail, and these are 
fairly important because they will show you um, what money uh, what monies customers owe you and when they're due and how long or excuse me how long ago you invoice them so this is quite important for those uh, clients that are using the invoice function you can see that uh, let's see if there's anything in the 90 there's nothing in the 90 but you can see that these different uh, customers are you know have invoices of different times and uh, in addition you can just drill down and see um, if there's any transactions in the in the column itself so for example this one here you can see that that thirty five dollars is made up of this invoice and you can drill down same same function as well um, one other report that's important is you know on the same on the same side is the vendors and payable section so if you are entering bills into QuickBooks and using that as a bill management system here you'll be able to see uh, what bills are owed and when they're owed etc and you can look into the detail pull up the original bill and so like I said uh, the accounts receivable and the um, the accounts payable reports are only useful if you're us utilizing the bill function for the accounts payable and making invoices for customers for um, uh, for the accounts receivable report so um, like I said if you have any questions um, feel free to email me come check out exceptionalaccounting.com love to help you out and see if there's anything else we can do to uh, to help you get the financial information you need thanks again for watching